Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to 80 th episode 83 of Forza Motorsport 2. In this episode, we're starting in the R3 class event, so we're starting off with this here Autobax NSX number 8, whatever that means. And we shall, of course, be doing the Professional Series, and we are going to be doing the Class R3 World Trophy, which is restricted to R3 class cars, of course. And... Yeah, so, let's get started, I guess. So we have Suzuka, Sebring, Sunset Peninsula. Are there only five? Oh, there's only five races in this. What the hell? Is there really? Wait, hold up. Why was there six races in the last one, but only five in this one? What the hell? Whatever, I guess I have an extra car now, for whatever reason. Uh, anyways, we have Suzuka, Sebring, Sunset Peninsula, Silverstone, and Road Atlanta. So let's get started on Suzuka. I was expecting it to have six races, because the last one did. I'm disappointed, kind of. So either A, I suck driving these cars, or... Fucking... Bruh. Get out of the way. Oh my god. You know what? I want to win. And I want to complete this game. So, therefore, we're completing the game. Oops, not that. I gave it a try, and it didn't work, so therefore, it is babby time. But I'm babby, so it works out. Look at all these real people. Uh, I was actually playing some, uh, some Most Wanted, like, last night. The, oh shit, the redu re Redux mod. Because I recently re-downloaded re it onto my computer after reinstalling Windows not too long ago. Excuse me, Ferrari. Maybe if we punch someone. Yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's what sealed the deal, honestly. That's how I knew what I was saying was truth. This game is strangely difficult on medium difficulty in some of these races. At least, uh, it's not strangely difficult on easy in some some races, like Forza 1 was. Like, there were some race series in Forza 1 that made me question my existence. Not so much on this game. It's a lot more, uh... Not stable. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It makes more sense, to say the least. But it's funny because, like, on Forza 4, I could usually easily win on, like, professional difficulty, so I don't know. Shit's hard, man. Yeah. That, that's true for arcade games, though. I mean, to be fair, everything, anything is out there, though. Like, I've driven cars in my life that I never expected to see, let alone drive. Because of working at a car, uh, classic car dealership. Never say never. Just like Justin Bieber. Smile. I just realized I'm using a uh, Super GT car on the Super GT track. Very fitting. It's a Ford Pinto. <laughs> I drove a Ford Pinto. I only drove one. It was actually cool though because it had a Thunderbird Turbo Coupe engine and transmission. And boy howdy, was it quick! That Pinto was terrifyingly fast because I think all that was changed about it was the engine. 
the suspension and uh, everything that wasn't the engine or transmission was unchanged. Including like the wheels and tires. I love seeing that emote. I need to I need to like make it better though. After actually uploading a mode, I see where I, uh, I don't know if I necessarily messed up, but I could have made it slightly better, so I'll probably work on redoing that at some point. But I'm glad that some people are enjoying using it. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Was it all Pintos that had the, the fuel exploding fire issue, or was it like only the early ones? I feel like they would have fixed that after like a year or two of it happening. Kind of like how they fixed the, the Fiero fires after 84. Your Fiero is a lot less likely to catch on fire if it's in 1985 to 1988. Hell yeah, it's a Bob Ross emote. There's also the Kappa Ross emote. It's a Kappa with Bob Ross hair, which is very good. I used to use that emote a lot. I don't do Kappas very, uh, very much anymore. I just usually put a smile instead of a Kappa. Yeah, there it is. So I've actually been getting around to watching people more recently. Friend does the stream on Twitch. Which is very nice to relax to. Paint a happy little Ford Pinto fire. That'd be hilarious if Fabros was painting a like car on fire in one of his things. Like he accidentally messes up and you know gets some, some red somewhere or something. Just makes it into a car fire. Obviously, that's uh, very unlikely to happen, especially now, but, you know. My car is getting quite dirty, by the way. It's got Coca-Cola advertisements on it. And Plexus. It's... I don't know. I was going to say something about Lexus cars, but my brain couldn't think of anything fast enough. Yep, rest in peace, Bob Ross. It's been, shit, it's been a couple years since that happened. It's been a couple years since Twitch started doing uh, Bob Ross reruns. God, this car is so wide. I'm just like looking at how wide the fenders go out past the body. NSXs aren't really like skinny cars to start with. And you add like eight inches of fender on either side. God damn. Cones! Yeah! Eat that, cones. Hot Wheels, eat that. That just reminded me of the fact that there was Hot Wheels that you could, like, pour just random shit into and they would, like, get powered by it or something. Unless that was, like, the an online Flash game only. Because I remember doing a Flash game of it uh, back in the day. But I don't know if that actually existed in real life or not. It was literally, like, I don't even remember what they put in it. I don't know. Flash, uh, Hot Wheels Flash games are like the only Flash games I had access to as a kid, though. Besides, like, the kid-related ones that you could get on at, like, school. Because luckily, in sixth grade, I had the teacher that had, like, six computers in his classroom. So I was like, hell yeah. 
Everybody gets on a computer. Everybody gets to go to CoolMathGames.com. There's also a bunch of notifications on my phone right now that I'm going to look at after this race. If Adobe Flash, yeah, you can still download it, but it's just not getting updated anymore. It's the sign of the times. ahead. Rip your Ford. Uh oh. That's not good. Honestly speaking of that, I'm surprised how uh, how much of a trooper my Ram is. That thing is, it's, it's unhappy to exist, but it does it. It, it exists. I mean... <laughs> Hold up, I need to- I need to post something. Oh my god, that's- hold up, that's... Wait, shit. I want this one. It's just something really funny just came up as a notification. Let's go post this here. Alright. Oh, I didn't want to go to the next race yet, son of a bitch. Oh well. I can back out. I need to change my car to something. I don't know what yet. Quit race. Yeah, it's just, just something funny happened. You know, something funny. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna switch cars. Since we're at... Do I have any? I don't have any American cars on my list. So, uh... Oops. I could have used the Viper, but I used the Viper that was very similar. So, I want to use... You know what I'm gonna use here? I'm gonna use the opal. I want to use the opals. Because this car is neat. Yes, I would like to continue the series in progress. And, uh. Yeah, Sebring. I don't know what I was gonna say there. Okay, let's go. Basically, uh, if anybody's curious of the reason of me just giggling my ass off there for a second, uh, somebody who was trying to evade a ban in the Twitch chat by making another account got banned again because his name was almost identical to what it was before. Uh, so I banned him again, because that's just not how you do things. You don't just try and avoid bans. And I got a very funny YouTube comment. <laughs> yeah, it's a Chevy in the U.S., kind of. I don't think there's really an e equal to the Astra in the U.S. But, Opal is under GM, which is an American car brand thing. So, therefore, it's an American car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah.
It may be saying uh, German on the car itself, but totally American, by the way. Oh, shit. is neat. I like the sound of it. It sounds very race car-y. Also V8, because Astro V8. I'm gonna take a thumbnail picture here, probably, as well. Just because. take the thumbnail picture at? Probably right up here. I'm very good at, uh... Right here. I'm good at taking pictures of the backs of cars. I don't get the front a whole lot, but I get the back. That's all that matters, right? Nope. Wrong button. Huh. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's put this right about here. The clickbait. Hell yeah. This is, what, 83? Yeah. I still hate that it, like, it put my pictures out of order. It was doing them from, like, the oldest to the newest, but now they're just completely out of order. Also, very good way to take that corner. I mean, I don't know why. car is neat though. It's kind of like an oddball one out of all the cars that you can race in like R3 class. It's a very oddball car. An Opal. Oh jeez. Uh oh. Hmm. Oopsie. Ow. Go forwards please. I don't care if I have damage. I'll be okay. Please stop doing burnouts. Thank you. Let's see. Am I broken? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. We have no rear downforce anymore. Let's go. This is fun. Car may be a little sad. It's alright, though. I think my brakes are also messed up in the front. Yeah, damage model in this game actually isn't bad at all. It is, I think, probably better on Forza 3 and 4, and newer Forzas in general. But, it's not bad on this game. It wasn't bad on Forza 1 either, honestly. It wasn't really perfect, but it wasn't that terrible. Car not smile. Car equals frown. I've been all right. How about yourself? Welcome to the stream as well. Welcome to sad car. I was just talking about how cool this car was and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go wreck it now. That's how this works. Car, car do sad. The big sad. I can't wait to just roast my tires out of this corner. Let's go. I'm not Wreck-It Ralph. I actually just watched that movie. Actually, it was probably like a month or two ago that I watched it. But I finally watched it for the first time. Pretty decent movie.
I didn't have any problems with it at least. I thought just one side of the back is just smushed in. Oh god. Somebody's typing something in my phone. I'm trying to look at it. was not relating to what I thought it was going to be relating to. Uh-oh. I'm be looking at my phone, I'm just going to run into a wall at some point. It's going to be great. Ooh. No rear downforce, by the way. It's got that half frown on it. It's got a sad side, but it's all right. It's still doing its job perfectly fine. Yeah. You don't want your own car to get smashed. But I agree, like, I've, I've watched too many videos of cars and things getting wrecked. And I I may or may not play BMNG quite a bit. I don't really crash things in BMNG that much, unless I, you know, unless I mess up. I don't crash stuff. Not really winning by uh, the same amount that I was in the last race. I wonder why. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. so I can stop looking at it. Let's see that real quick. Huh. Quickly! Okay. Getting too distracted by things on my phone. Okay, I'm almost thinking I should've used this for the endurance, but oh well. I have a car picked out. It's all right. Actually, I could have switched this and, and the other car out because the other car is American. Oh well. It really be like that sometimes. God, yeah, Russian dash cams are an adventure to watch. I've seen some crazy shit uh, on some Russian dash cams. Thankfully, this, this race is almost over. This car can be out of its misery, finally. Yeah, that is true. It's, it's kind of par for the course for Russia. Oh, shit. We're good. 
Almost died. Why is that window like bent? I don't know. Alrighty, there's the second race down. Poor Opal. It's okay. That was only a thousand credits worth of damage. What the fuck? Okay. I was expecting more than that. Okay. <laughs> Fucking God. Alright, what what else we got on this list? We're going to Sunset Peninsula, right? Maybe I will. You know what? Fuck it. Where where am I? What am I doing? That is not R3 class cars, my friend. My friend and also brain. Brain blast. Uh hmm. You know what? You know what? We will use this, because why not? I have no clue what Drift City Remastered is, so no, I have not played it yet. We shall continue to Sunset Peninsula. They're attacking my babushka. <laughs> I really be like that sometimes. Alrighty. Panos. I'm starting in last. How come I pick all the crappy cars to do these races in? And I can't do upgrades to them, so like... Yeah. It's just not gonna work out. You know, what's funny is that as this is going on too, I'm still trying to figure out which car I want to use for the uh, endurance. I was going to use this for the endurance, but uh, obviously that's not going to happen now because I'm driving it here. For Wowie, Lazaro, oh shit. But hey, American car on American, fictional American track, but still American. This car's actually kind of neat. I'm trying to remember what I used for the R3 class endurance in Forza 1. I actually, I don't remember. I think it was RGT in Forza 1. Actually, I don't think there was an R2 class in Forza 1. There was RGTS, RGT, and RP1, I think, in Forza 1. So maybe there wasn't. There was one, uh... One event less in that game than compared to this game. Huh. I don't know. I think I used the Selena 7 for the RGT class uh, endurance in Forza 1, I think. I don't know. Something like that. This car is very orange, by the way, I'm realizing. It's like pumpkin spice of cars. This is officially the pumpkin size Panos. There's, that, that's its name now. That's it. That's how it gets to be remembered. It's kind of red. It's like orange. It's like between red and orange. To me, at least. 
It definitely looks more orangish here, though. I don't know. Could be a difference in monitors. Like, it's not... Looking at, like, the brake lights, it's between the brake lights and the turn signals in the back. That's the color I'm seeing it as. And honestly, like, pumpkin spice things are usually not exactly, like, straight-up orange. As well, so... The name stays. It's sticking. We're drifting around this, all right. Hey, everybody, Mr. RHD here. Kappa. I know Keenan likes this track a lot. This car is not incredibly fast in a straight line, I'm realizing. Kind of disappointing, I'm not going to lie. And again, it doesn't really matter. Because I am uh, slightly winning. It's kind of brown. I mean, it is kind of like an orangish brownish kind of color. That's what I would call it, from what I'm seeing. But again, of course, everybody's, uh, everybody's monitors are different at showing colors, so... Who knows? We're probably both right. Here, all three of us. Oh. That could be true too. Our eyes do deceive us sometimes. Who knows? Anyways, we're we're most of the way through this map, the race map, race, whatever. It will not go over 165, by the way. It just gets stuck at 165. <laughs> Kinda wish. I would drive a purple panos. Hell yeah. I mean, purple, pink. To be fair, I was playing Need for Speed Carbon uh, last night, and I made a very, very pink uh, 240SX. Thanos Panas. That almost rhymes. Thanos Panas. At least the way I say Thanos, it almost, almost works. But yeah, I made a very pink 240SX in Carbon. Because I didn't realize that with the Collector's Edition, you get extra events. And if you do those events, you unlock cars to use in career mode. <laughs> so that's cool. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we got 167. Let's go. The trick is to stay in fifth, apparently. That's really how it be and how it do. Uh oh. Surprisingly, I have not went off the track once in this race. Well, not like seriously off track. Had a little bit of off track experience, but it's alright.
Last lap. We got for tire stuff. 33, 34%. Not too shabby. Well, I screwed up my my speed. I'm gonna go to 165 that time around. I'm just thinking, I never actually... Did I ever use the production version of this car in anything? In Forza 1 or 2? I don't think I did. I think this is actually my first time using a Panos in a Forza game for Let's Play. I don't know. It's very possible. Oh jeez. Don't bin it on the last lap. That would be suboptimal, to say the least. Alright. Panos has been officially used. Alright, let's continue. 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 Alright, what am I using next? I think I'm gonna use the F430 next. I think. Sounds like a grand old idea. Car select. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's go over here. I think we're on Silverstone this time around. So yeah, I think we'll use the F430. Sounds fun. Paying attention to my phone. I am a good streamer, yes. I look at phone and get distracted. Alright, Silverstone. And we have Road Atlanta last. Okay. Let's go to Silverstone. And I think I know which of these cars I'm using for the endurance, by the way. I, I think I do. Methinks. Okay, let's go. Time for race car Ferrari for the first time in this game. Try and lock this car from doing the one make race for not race Ferraris. It's funny how life works out like that. And oh boy, we got six more laps on this fucking track. Silverstone is what it's called. Car's pretty decent feeling so far, unsurprisingly. I think it is a GT2 class Ferrari. I like how it's also Forza 2 branded on the front. Very nice. Very fitting. I can't wait until I move on to Forza 3 so we get to race on Silverstone. Again, and again, and I move on to Forza 4, and I race on Silverstone, again, and again. It really be like that. And there's also other games, like, I think Gran Turismo 6 has Silverstone, which will be fun. But then again, I have five other GT games to work through before that, so, you know. It's not like that one's going to be anytime soon, per se. What other games have Silverstone? I think Grid has Silverstone. Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know.
Still debating how I should work this out. Should I do another track racing game after this game? Like, you know, GT1 maybe? Gran Turismo 1? Or should I just wait a little bit and then go straight into Forza 3? Because, like, I'm honestly pretty cool with either of those. I'd also like to play through Grid at some point. I've never played more than, like, an hour, I think, into Grid 1. So, I don't know. We all hold like a pole or something. Not after this game's done, but after uh, whatever I'm like feeling like starting a new, very long track racing game. We'll see. Go! I hit it. 10 points. I find it funny that you had like the NSX I drove at the beginning of this that was like two feet wider than a regular NSX. And there's this car, which is not wider than a stock F430. Very interesting uh, how that works out. It's not a thick boy. It's a pretty thin boy, actually. I also like the very bright yellow tow hook at the bottom of the rear bumper. That's very fitting. Car is always going to be flashy. You got to have your yellow tow hook at the bottom of the bumper. You know. Damn boy, he's thin. Damn, that's a thin ass boy. Oh, that just sounds wrong. I don't like that. Ooh. Stand. Stand? I'm gonna sit straight up for a little bit. I really need to work on my posture. It's really garbage. It doesn't help that my chair, the back of my chair is just like way too far back for me to actually lean back in and stream, so. Yeah. Kinda sucks. But, oh well. Hey, I got a best slap by 0 .003. Three thousandths of a second. Honestly, this car sounds pretty neat, too. Gotta say. I feel like I've been judging cars for a very long time on their engine notes. Ever since I got this set up to where I can actually hear the engine notes well. Which was not a thing I really had very, uh... Very early up until pretty late through the Let's Play. I could barely hear the game at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm figuring things out. I'm trying to be professional, a little bit at least. I don't know how well it's working, but I'm trying to be professional. Uh, 
I was also just thinking, I don't think I've ever hit the Revlon in this car yet. This is vaguely surprising. Let's hit it! Oh damn, it revs high. Oh, so it's a 10k? Let's go. Let's go. No need to shift early now. I now know where the rev limit is. Oh god, I'm in the audio. I think my Elgato just messed up a little bit. It sounds like it's a little delayed. It's not that bad though. I don't know what just happened. I'm going to assume that audio was like that for everybody, not just me. But I don't know. I will uh, restart my Elgato in between the episodes here, after the next race, basically. Oh shit. Okay. Ah, cones. Yeah, it's definitely delayed. Something got funky. Something got upset on my computer. <laughs> Whatever. It'll survive. Stream will go on! It's not delayed for you guys. It's just delayed for me. Cones! Oh, I missed it. Oh, I hit one of them. Alright. Cone! Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Cone! Boink. Any cones left up here to hit? Probably. Y'all getting them cones? Not exactly. I hit all of them already. Whatever. Yuck. Alrighty. That was a good wiener. And we shall go finish up the fifth and final race here in a second. Blah, 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 okay. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Okay, we are back to car select, and I think I know which car I'm going to use for this race. Because I think... Yeah, I'm going to use... Alright. Come on, game. I want to use this car! Beamer. M3 GTR race car. Is that Razor's BMW? <laughs> Smile. Yes, I'd like to continue the series in progress and we will finish off at Road Atlanta. Because I have an idea of which car I want to use in the Endurance. Hell yeah, there we go. That's the kind of quality content I'm looking for on my stream. 
is somebody else's emotes. All right, let's go. Okay, this car is almost starting at dead last. Uh oh. Okay, so it's a uh, a little little spinny wheel. Happy. Uh oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, that's that's a lot of people. Going. Later, nerds. Haha. -ha! Oh, please don't hit me. I don't want to hit them. Oh, please. God damn it. This car is uh, very wheel spinny. <laughs> Turns out. All right, I'm gonna pass the Fawawi right here. Maybe the soup. I don't know. Soup. Soup, I'm passing you. Goodbye, friend. I barely knew ya. Let's go! I just got another YouTube comment. I can only imagine what it's going to be. Or another YouTube uh, notification. Oh, no. It was somebody uploading a video. Okay. Also, one thing I'd like to point out real quick is that through all of these race car events, I've been using pretty much only cars that I've won and owned prior to doing the events. And, uh... I'm saving so much money because of it. Maybe like six and a half million, I think, after this next endurance, roughly. I'll be somewhere around there. And there's not really many I want to buy, so like, yeah, it's strange. I do want to get the achievements for buying all the cars in the game out of every area. Or every, uh, every country, I should say, because there's achievements, as I've mentioned, for doing that. And actually, speaking of which, after this, I may go on a spending spree. Probably at the end of this video, actually, to uh, buy more cars, to get at least one more achievement. There are no Bugattis in this game, or else I might buy Bugatti? I don't know. Probably not. I care very little about... Actually, I'd buy the EB1, EB110. But I care very little about the, the Varen. Ah, shit. This car sounds neat. I can see how it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't win. If it were, like, on medium or something. Like, yeah. Is this, like, an oversized Volkswagen Beetle? I can see that. I need to stop looking back so much. It's harmful to my health. car is incredibly prone to spinning the wheels, in case you haven't realized yet. Does it a lot. I'm gonna guess up something happens. Or guess up, guess what? 
I guess that something happens. I just have a habit of doing it, even though there's like nobody even close to being near me. I usually just do it real quick. I just realized I'm covering the entire place thing on the game. Uh-oh. Back up. Go forward. And please, don't spin your tires. Damn it. I said don't spin your tires. Whatever. You would not do very good on the uh, endurance, my friend. Not gonna lie. That was also kind of neat because it doesn't have a turbo or anything. No turbo, no supercharger. <laughs> That's understandable. Yeah, mine's just, just like a flick to look back. It's kind of like how I look back while driving real cars too. It's like I look back for half a second and then I kind of... You know, I could kind of figure out my, my surroundings from that. Keep doing it! Time to stop, finger. If I didn't have to shift, I'd be putting my thumb somewhere else right now. Because I'm sure some people probably don't like me doing it so much. Just wait until I get to Need for Speed 1. Finally start playing that, and then I, I don't have access to a look back button. Like, I literally have no reason to look back at all. I'm 1400 meters ahead of second place. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I need it! I had to make that joke. I'm sorry. It's just how it goes sometimes. Aha! Best lap. 119.3. Not too shabby. Yeah, I mean, I know there's some people who do it. I don't think, I don't know. I just feel like I do it a lot, and I know I do it a lot. I tend to notice. And like, especially like I said, at times like this, there's no reason to look back in the slightest. Hey Chris, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the very end of this event. Literally the end of the last lap of this event. But we have more events coming up. Well, hello. Nice to see ya. And there we go, 50 points. 
The Super GT NSX only got two points total. I'm doing just fine, I think. I'm not doing too shabby, at least. 3% discount, blah, 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 blah. Give me prize. I don't know what prize I'm going to get for this, actually. What I get? Ooh, a racing MC12. In 75,000 credits. It's a long boy. Let's go. Cool. It's blue and stuff. All right, Brunette King. Yeah, whatever. Uh, anyways, that will conclude that. So you know what? We're 92% of the way through the game. 4,025 miles driven. Officially over 4,000. Uh, we are... I'm going to buy cars because I need some achievements. Because I have an odd numbered achieve or odd numbered uh, gamer score on this account. Because of this fucking game. So basically what I need to do is I need to buy all the cars from Sweden. Me thinks, yeah. So we're gonna do that real quick. <laughs> it's ugly. It's not that bad. But I'm gonna buy so basically all you have to do is buy all the cars that aren't DLC, and it'll give you the achievement. From each because each of these countries has its own achievement. I've already gotten the one for both Korea and Spain. So we'll start out here, like I said, with Sweden. Quickly buy some of these cars. An S60R. I wish I could have used this car, but I had no way to, or no, no places to really use it in. Sadly. And one more Swedish car. Another car that I wish I would have used at some point, but I didn't. It was a Saab 93. Sadly, it's not available in blue like it is in later Forza games. I like the blue that comes in. And, cute achievement. So, we have that one. So we have one... One gamer score left to get, I think, right? Yeah, 879. Which is all the cars from France. Which is... You know, it's funny is that... These are sorted by how many cars are in each one, so it starts out with Japan with 103, and then it goes down from there. Uh, the reason that France has less gamer score than Sweden uh, is because there was like six DLC cars for this, for France. Which, basically, this was DLC, this was DLC, uh, and like two out of three of the Renaults are DLCs as well. Which are the two that I don't have at the moment. So, we will quickly buy the two Peugeots I need. Which is going to be the 207 and the 206. Which, funny thing, I actually started out with this car in this game. But I sold it because I needed money for a different car. So, now we get it back. Only 50 something hours later. 50 hours of game time, I should say. And we will buy... Now, this one's not going to give me the achievement yet, because I need to unlock the last car, which will be coming in the future. But it will get me prepared for such things. So, now that we have those, that is all I really care to do at the moment. As long as I have a, a gamer score that ends in like a 5 or a 0, I will be happy. So, that will actually conclude this episode of Forza 2. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.